Hi, I am Alexey. Uh, I am a PhD student at the University of Tartu, and Kairit is my supervisor. Today we present our submission to the type 2024 shared task. Uh, we participated in the unconstrained subtask. Uh, the subtask is comprised of five distinct problems and 16 typologically diverse languages. As you can see on the table here, the amount of training data available is comparatively little for every language. The ancient Hebrew having the lowest number of training sentences, which is slightly over a thousand. Since the subtask was unconstrained, meaning that any additional resources were allowed, uh, the first question we had was, how can we make use of the information stored in the multilingual pre-trained models, such as XLM Roberta, uh, which itself was trained on about a hundred different languages. Usually the most straightforward approach is full fine-tuning of the entire model. However, in this particular case, full fine-tuning has some undesirable properties. First of all, fine-tuning on small amounts of data, like we have in this subtask, is likely to result in catastrophic forgetting or overfitting. Secondly, with full fine-tuning, we would have to train and keep a separate model for each language test combination, which in this case may amount up to 80 individual models. Finally, we do not expect all the weights in the multilingual model to be relevant to every given task and language combination. So, why fine-tune everything? One of the approaches aimed at resolving the issues we just mentioned is adapter-based parameter-efficient fine-tuning. The idea behind adapters is to inject a number of additional trainable layers into the network while freezing the rest of the model. On the diagram to the right, the bottleneck adapter is demonstrated uh, on the right part. And on the left part of the diagram, we can see how adapter layers are inserted into existing transformer layers. We do not expect XLM Roberta to be immediately ready for use of languages that it has never seen. For this reason, we train a language adapter for every language, while task-specific adapters are stacked on top of it. Uh, on the diagram to the right, we see an example of an adapter stack, where blue and green blocks represent two individual adapter layers. We frame part of speech tagging and full morphological annotation as a single token classification task. For each token in the dataset, we predict a part of speech and the morphological features as a single class represented as a unique string. We treat lemmatization as a token classification task as well. However, instead of predicting the combination of morphological features, we predict the transformation rule that allows us to transform a given form into its lemma. Our transformation rule is also represented as a single string. Uh, for world-level gap filling, we employ the language adapters which were trained previously. We represent the gaps as mask tokens and predict the replacements from left to right while making sure we predict full words. So on the diagram here to the right, uh, there is an illustration of the decoding process. Uh, so the first step is predicting what is the most likely replacement for the mask token here. So we see that the most likely replacement is cat with uh, lowercase c. Uh, then the next step would be making sure that we actually predicted the full word. So for that, uh, we look ahead and see, we insert a new mask token and see, is the new predicted token actually a new word or it's a part of a previous word? So in our case, we predicted S, so all good, and we can stop the decoding and the result is uh, on the third line and on the diagram. For character level gap filling, we employed a simple approach based on dictionary lookups. So we build a vocabulary based on the training data. Uh, then when we encounter a word with mass character in it, we employ this vocabulary to make a lookup. If there are suitable candidates, we simply take the first one and use it to fill the gaps. Surprisingly, this approach has shown some strong results. Finally, let us examine the results of our submission. Out of three participants, uh, we took the close second place to the first place on the world level gap filling. We took the overall first place on three languages, highlighted in green. Uh, we also see that languages would require a custom tokenizer, a lagging behind somewhat more noticeably, and these are highlighted in yellow. Uh, we do not know at the moment uh, what approaches have our teams deployed. However, we would like to highlight the practicality of the approach we propose. Training for a given task and language combination took less than an hour. And the trained adapters take about 100 megabytes of space in total. 
To conclude, uh, we proposed a competitive solution with a focus on practicality. We believe that it is relatively easy to reuse for our low resource languages. Uh, we note, however, that the approach to languages with underrepresented writing systems uh, needs more work. Uh, in, if you are interested in reproducing the results, uh, please follow the QR code to our GitHub repository. And thank you for your attention.